Okay, that's the night. We'll tell everybody that we're being live streamed over Sauble County uh, uh, Commission Network. Uh, appreciate everybody being here today. Very, uh, uh, we don't have breaking news for you today, but uh, we've asked you here to help us reiterate to the public what a serious situation we have here in Sauble County. In the last two or three weeks, our numbers have quadrupled. Uh, of course, uh, we're not by ourselves. Uh, it's happening all over Tennessee. Uh, normally, we're not the hotspot, but right now we're the hotspot in the state of Tennessee. Uh, I don't know that we can put a reason for that, but we do have true community spread. Even though we have clusters that are popping up, uh, our increases appear to be pure community spread. And that's, and that's why we're here today. We want to talk to the community about our habits. Uh, with the holiday season uh, coming up very quickly, uh, tomorrow even Thanksgiving and then the, the traditional holiday season uh, uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, we want to reiterate uh, the leadership of the state of Tennessee and, and the uh, guidelines that have been put out for the last uh, uh, seven to eight months uh, still apply today. Apply more more than ever. Um, I'm joined here today uh, by my colleagues here in Sullivan County, Mayor Patchell from the City of Kingsport, Mayor uh, Malin Luttrell from uh, Bristol, and Mayor Irene Wells from Bluff City. And I will introduce each one of those for, for remarks. Um, I would like to open with a, with a with a message to our seniors. Uh, if you follow the reports, you'll find that people over 50 are more susceptible to extremely serious uh, complications and death. So uh, uh, during this holiday season, I encourage and urge our senior citizens, which I am one of, to keep your contacts to close and immediate families. Don't be out. Weigh the risk every time you go out. We don't have a stay at home order, but if I were going to do that, I would tell our senior citizens to stay close, close around home as they can because the risk is greater for them of serious results from this disease. That doesn't mean we're uh, not thinking about our young people who are trying to go to school now and people who must go to work. Uh, we're trying to keep a good balance between uh, families being able to support themselves and have no draconian message, uh, uh, methods uh, that you're seeing in other parts of the country. So to keep our schools open, to keep our businesses open, to protect our families, and most of all, to keep beds free in the hospital for those who are seriously ill. We need to practice some good guidelines that have come out uh, in May, April and May. We need to get back to that weigh the risk that whether it's worth the risk of going out in public in large crowds. Uh, I, I encourage, as you know, all, all the uh, Christmas parades in the area in Sullivan County have been canceled. Um, that's a sacrifice we know for the kids, but it's just one time for the rest of your life. So uh, uh, we want the public to support uh, good health and, and good health practices. So um, I mentioned the mayors we have with us. We also have Dr. May from the Sullivan County Health Department who is our medical director. We have Dr. Mickey Spivey who is our assistant medical director uh, and have seen us through this crisis and uh, they'll be speaking to you at, uh, at some point later. So. Uh, I appreciate the press being here. I appreciate the coverage on the uh, internet because we must get our message out and people must take this as seriously as possible because it is a matter of life and death. So at this time, I'd like to welcome uh, Mayor Malin Luttrell to the uh, podium for uh, his, his remark, any remarks he might have. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Venable. I'd like to touch on just a moment about uh, protecting our families. You know, the data 
is, is pure and data is very simple to read. This virus has impacted more of our older folks that we all know as mom and dad, uncle, grandma, aunt. Um, so, you know, the younger population, yeah, you better impact it with it as well. But we all know that they typically rebound a lot easier and a lot faster than some of our older uh, uh, residents do. Uh, so it's very important that uh, th in this message, you know, and, and I want to address it to the younger folks is that, you know, getting out in, in some of these areas, uh, uh, it's so important that we're making sure that we are social distancing. And it's even more important that we're really staying home as much as we can. Because we don't want, I don't want, because I'm in that group as well, uh, the older people, that I don't want uh, someone in my family you know, to bring the virus in. Uh, so I hope that, that uh, the folks of you that are listening uh, will heed to that, that warning and uh, you know, look at it as being very serious, that uh, you don't want to lose a loved one. I don't want to lose a loved one. And uh, you know, I really appreciate all the work that uh, our entire community is, has done to try to um, you know, fight off this virus, but we need your help. Uh, we're, we're getting overrun as a community, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Dr. Mays and, uh, will speak to that uh, here in a moment. Um, with that, um, that's all I'll have to say about it, and uh, at this time, I guess, uh, Mayor Schull. Yeah, I'd like to thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor Metro. Uh, one person I overlooked and uh, I recognize the folks are here are the emergency management agency director, Jim Bean. Jim's a full uh, quad duty with uh, TEMA uh, and he's our contact there and he's kept us uh, supplied with all the uh, uh, materials that we need to, to fight this. Uh, so I, I want to correct that before I invite uh, uh, Mayor Shell up. So, Mayor Shell. Thank you, Mayor Venable. Um, the other mayors, uh, Mayor Wells, Mayor Luttrell, and I, uh, we appreciate your leadership in this important area. And we stand with you literally and figuratively uh, uh, on the importance of uh, maintaining good, uh, safe practices. Uh, Mayor Venable mentioned jobs, and uh, I've got the city manager here with me, Mayor, uh, City Manager Chris McCart, and uh, there are some very uh, critical jobs that he oversees in the city that are important of all of us. We've got police, we've got fire, we've got people that operate the sewer and the uh, water plants, clean water, and uh, we need them to be at work. All of us need them to be at work. But like anybody, they, uh, they have off-duty time and they go to the grocery store and they go to the pharmacy and we need to be conscious that if we don't wear our masks, we've got a chance of passing on the virus to these important people and to everybody else that uh, uh, has a job and has a business and a life to, to, to keep going. And uh, I, I really like to stress that you've got to wear the masks, you've got to do the social distance, you've got to do the um, uh, hand sanitation and so forth. You know, if our people in the hospital can wear masks and all kinds of protective clothing all day long, certainly our citizens can can wear a mask and maintain social distance on, you know, uh, short duration trips like to the pharmacy or the grocery store. So, uh, as Mayor Venable said, we want to keep our businesses open, but we, we've got to keep people healthy and we've got to respect each other. And uh, I'll be followed by Mayor Wells in Bluff City. Thank you. I would just like to say that I'm very concerned about um, the hospitals overflowing and some of them closing, how important it is for us to work with our hospitals in any way that we can. And let the citizens know, remind the citizens that if they wear their masks, we would distance them. And um, all this stuff is important. And to help, to help the hospitals, we need to um, 
do the things that that we are told about the virus. And the thing about it is because before the virus existed, the hospitals were full. So now the hospitals and the and the workers have to deal with uh, the virus also. And if the citizens will work with us and everything, work with the hospitals and the doctors and everything, because what's going to happen if the hospitals is full with a filled up with the virus? And then somebody has a heart attack and the hospital's full, or some child's in an accident, or any other type of disease or whatever, um, and there's no place for them to go. And the thing about it is if we all work together, I feel like that we can accomplish anything. Thank you, Mary Wells. At, uh, at this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Stephen May, our medical director here in Sullivan County, to make his way to the microphone. Dr. May, has, uh, and uh, along with the uh, health department director, Gary Mays, have led Sullivan County through this. And, and believe me, uh, they have been, uh, I won't say overwhelmed, because they react to everything that happened. But without, the, without their good guidance, we don't know what our results would be. So. Uh, uh, let me introduce Dr. Stephen May. Thank you, May. So we're here to sound the alarm. We've talked about why this alarm is important to protect our businesses, to protect our hospitals, to protect our family, our friends. So what can you do about this? The most important thing that I want to get out today is if you are ill, you need to immediately isolate, stay away from everyone, and get testing. We have testing at the health department five days a week. Call 279-2777. But if you're ill, get tested. If you're positive, stay isolated for a minimum of 10 days with the last 24 hours at least doing well. There is a great isolation and quarantine calculator that you can calculate your own isolation. And if you're a contact, as defined by being within six feet for greater than 15 minutes with a known case, you need to go ahead and quarantine for 14 days. You can get on our website, www.sullivanhealth.org, and you will find the isolation and quarantine calculator. We still must continue with our preventive measures. This includes the standard masking that has become uh, so ubiquitous within our community. We must continue with our distancing. But now with the holidays, we must now focus on not mixing households and spreading it to our loved ones. I encourage everyone to stay home as much as they can and to do these basic preventive measures. Now, those, there are other things you can do too. Those who have recovered, there is a mechanism for you to donate your plasma for those who may be critically ill. Uh, that's called the fightisinus.org and that is included in our handout. So once again, it comes back to basic prevention. This is not about politics. This is not about any other issue but having compassion, respect, and caring for your fellow friends and loved ones. We just have to hang on a little while longer. If we can flatten this curve, we can protect our hospitals, we can protect our business, and most of all, we can protect our families 